welcome to my channel I'm a trade universe today I'm going to talk about the code practice oscillator we'll learn what a code practice oscillator is its functions uses and the construction details a code practice oscillator or CPO is a device that helps to practice Morse code by producing an audio tone when connected to a Morse key this oscillator is widely used for learning Morse code in amateur radio the power supply to the CPO is connected to a 9 volts battery or a 9 volts DC converter. When the MOS key is pressed, the code practice oscillator gives an audio tone output through a speaker. Electrical contacts are made using the MOS key, which turns on the code practice oscillator, producing short dits and long dash sounds. The CPO generates audio signals which resembles the dots and dashes of MOS code. Amateur radio enthusiasts practice Morse code using a code practice oscillator, especially for passing the general grade license exam in India, which allows them to use Morse code for radio communication. The code practice oscillator is built around the 555 CMOS timer IC. This timer IC is configured in an stable multi vibrator mode and when connected to a 9 volt DC supply will produce an audio sine wave. Supply voltage is given through the pins 4 and 8 of the 555 timer IC. The pin 1 is grounded. Frequency of the oscillator or the audio tone can be controlled by the fixed resistor R2, variable resistor R4 and the capacitor C4. The output is taken through the pin 3 using a 33 microfarad capacitor in series with a 47 ohm resistor and a 10k potentiometer. This circuit is assembled in a small printed circuit board. Uh, this is the PCB.